Hello, everyone. My name is Henry Wang. I'm a PhD student at MIT working on common architecture and efficient machine learning. I'm very glad to introduce our work on Spartan, efficient sparse attention architecture with cascade token and head pruning. As we know, NLP techniques have been widely used in many real-world applications, ranging from chatbots to machine translation. Their impressive performance comes at the cost of low efficiency as the model size and computation are both increasing exponentially. Therefore, specialized NLP algorithm and hardware co-design is critical to solve this challenge. In recent state-of-the-art NLP models, attention is the most important layer because it extracts relationship between tokens. Here, we profile the GP2 latency on different CPUs and GPUs. We find that attention takes over 50% of the overall latency, although its computation only accounts for less than 10%. Inside attention, the matrix modification only takes 27% latency. Other memory operations such as high split, transpose, and concatenations take over 70% of latency, which make attention very inefficient. Therefore, in order to accelerate attention, we propose Spartan, an algorithm hardware co-design for attention layer computations. We leverage pruning and quantization opportunities to reduce computation and memory access and design specialized hardware to accelerate the complex data movements. The first approach is cascade token and head pruning. The intuition is that human language have high redundancy, so it is desirable to find useless information and remove their computations. Here we show an example. The task is to classify whether this film review is positive or negative. The input to the first BERT layer contains all 11 tokens and eight heads. The heads here can be considered as multiple parallel branches for computations. Different branches have different functionalities. After the first layer, we identify unimportant tokens and heads and remove them. In this example, we remove tokens like a, the, almost, which does not have significant contributions to the overall meaning of the sentence. Therefore, the second layer only need to process a shorter sentence with fewer heads. Similarly, more non-essential heads and tokens are removed, and the last layer only has two tokens and four heads. If I only show these two words, being perfect to you, I'm able to determine whether it is positive or not. I believe it's obvious. Well, from a higher level, the tension computation has inputs, query, key, and value matrices. The feature embedding are chunked to multiple heads, such as eight heads in this example. QKV inputs of layer one go through a tension layer, FFN layer, and QKVFC, and get QKV inputs for layer two. Layer two outputs further generate the QKV of layer three. During this process, the number of token heads are the same. However, not all tokens and heads are created equal. There are opportunities to find unimportant token and heads in the front layer and remove them in later layers. In order to do this, we need to use an indicator called important score to tell us which token and heads are unimportant and prune them away like this. This corresponds to removing tokens and heads in the previous example. Similarly, for the remaining token and heads, we can again evaluate their importance after layer two and prune unimportant ones, which correspond to the remaining two tokens and four heads in the example sentence. During this process, the prune token and heads will never be used in all following layers, thus it is called cascade. It helps us to reduce the computation and memory access because we only need to fetch and process remaining tokens and heads. In order to support the pruning, we design a top K engine to select top several important tokens and heads and remove others. The top K engine has a quick select module to select the K's largest element. The quick select has 16 smaller comparators and 16 larger comparators, so it can generate outputs in high partisan. We also propose progressive quantization. The core idea is to reduce DRAM access for memory bounded generative NLP models such as GP2 and GP3. We achieve this by eagerly fetching MSBs and lazily fetching LSBs. Intuitively, for simple sentences, we can just use MSB to understand sentence meaning, but for difficult sentences, we need more information. Here is an analogy. For this sentence, the full information is in the DRAM. We only fetch part of the information to the on chip buffer. 
If the confidence about sentence is high, then we do not need to fetch LSBs. Otherwise, for this example sentence, if the confidence is low, meaning the information is not enough to get meaningful results, then we need to fetch LSBs. We also design an accelerator containing specialized modules to support token head pruning and progress of quantization as shown here. The critical path here is fully pipeline to increase the throughput. We implemented a synthesized architecture with TSMC 40 nanometer technology. Spartan has 18.7 millimeter square area and 8.3 watts power. It consists of 1,024 multipliers, 392 kilobytes SRAM, and 16 channels HBM, each provides 32 gigabytes per second bandwidth. The performance on summarization stage is 1.6 teraflops per second and 0.43 teraflops per second for generation stage. We compare the latency and energy with general purpose CPUs and GPUs. Over server level CPUs and GPUs, we can have 100 to 300 speed up and over 1000 better energy efficiency. Over edge devices such as Nano GPU and Raspberry Pi, we have more than 1000 speed up and up to 1.9 thousand energy savings. We also compare Spartan with state of the art attention accelerators. A3 is an ASIC design with support for local key and value pruning we have 1.6x speed up and 1.4x energy savings. MNFAS is an FPGA design with local value pruning support. And we have around 3x speed up and energy savings. As conclusion, we propose Spartan Accelerator to push the frontier of green AI and tiny AI. Spartan accelerates NLP by removing redundancy in human languages with cascade token and head pruning, local value pruning, and progress of quantization. It is also equipped with a high parallelism talking engine and specialized data paths and operators to improve the efficiency. For more information, please check our website at spartan.mit.edu. Finally, as take home, Spartan removes redundant tokens and has and saves computations and memory access of NLP models. Thanks for listening.